Nearly two and a half weeks since Shanquilla Robinson's death, her family still doesn't know what happened to her. We're not gonna stop until this is, we get to the end of she it. Take it to the bottom of it. We're gonna get to the end of this. No, this is not gonna happen, you know. No, I've been crying, you know, I'm hurt. I'm hurting all the way around. Last Friday night, Bernard and Salamandra Robinson sat down to talk with me one on one. They said they believe their daughter's death was a result of foul play. But how and why? Five days after that interview, we now know this viral video on social media could lead to an answer. That's at least what the Robinsons are hoping. It is graphic and shows an apparent fight. We blurred some parts because right now we want to be clear. No one has been charged with any crime. But Shanquilla's parents say it is her in the video. And the FBI in Charlotte tells WBTV the video has their attention. Be careful who you call a friends, guys, because how do you go on a vacation? with your friend and then you die on vacation and then they they say that you died from alcohol poison but you they a video come up with you getting beat up these girls jumped her they were jealous haters I don't know maybe she was getting more attention than them I don't know what the situation is but you could clearly see that a bunch of haters harmed her didn't care about her and this was not real friends that's why I say this all the times. So I always talk about this. Be careful who you call a friend. There are people with hate in their heart and they have no conscience. When they get in a group, they will jump on you because the hate gets multiplied in a group. Hate always gets multiplied in a group. You get what I'm saying? Especially when there's no one to stand up and say, hey, this is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because one time I went away with a group of girls once and they have that kind of crabby mentality, right? And I had to, they was about to jump on one girl. And I was like, you know what? Nah, you're not going to do this. Nah, it's not right. You're not going to jump on one girl. So yeah, I understand this type of dynamics and I hope the parents find justice because they literally, that's not real friends. How do you come back from Mexico, a trip to Mexico and tell and say she died from alcohol poison and you know she was bru brutally beat up and the autopsy report says that she died from a broken neck and back. So alcohol does not break your bo your bones. So something is wrong. And I hope the FBI charge all of them in that girl's murder. Because guess what? They probably ganged up and beat that girl. Kill and they cover it up. That's foul, man. That's not real friends. That's why you got to be careful. And I talk about haters and I talk about fake friends. I talk about all this type of stuff on my channel for a reason. Be careful who you call a friend. Be careful who you trust. Because a lot of the times when something like this happens, it's someone you know when you lose your life by hand of M word. I don't want to say, you know, but it's usually someone you know, guys. So, yeah, I hope they find the killer or they find out exactly what happened to this young lady. But this is foul. She's only 25 years old. Went on vacation with a group of friends and ended up losing her life. And everybody's lying about how she lost her life. I feel for the family. I really do. And I hope like, they get justice for this young lady.